Johnson and Ainge, Akers in place of the injured Parrish, Kersey, Caldwell, Jones, Duckworth in place of the injured Steve Johnson, Drexler, and Porter. And we're set to get underway from Portland's Memorial Coliseum along with Rick Barry, Kevin Duckworth. Playing at center, we'll be talking a lot more about him. He's come in and filled in beautifully for the injured Steve Johnson. Johnson a couple of weeks away from returning to the Portland lineup. There's the duck hook, and Portland is on the board. Also, it's tough to get him from out there. What a drive. Drexler didn't see it, but Kersey did. The lob. Portland leading, just underway. Bird off the screen. And this possession. Of course, with Robert Parrish out, they're going to have to get some more offense out of players like DJ right missing now, so someone's got to pick that up. By Drexler. Ooh. Has four points. Drexler to Duckworth. Can't get him out in the stands. They're illegal. You can't use that anymore. Another. That's how the playoffs would be through last night if they were to start today. In the Western Conference, Portland right in the thick of it. They're behind L.A. and Dallas. You can see how that Portland team likes to get out and run as Ames goes for three. Up Dennis to do a little double teaming inside. And Dennis is the type of player who can hurt you. Keep this an open end-to-end -end game if they can. Portland make in a lot of ways with the exception of the scoring and the shooting that Kiki Vandewey or Kiki does. Portland, a very athletic basketball team. Drexler over Dennis Johnson. Porter with the steal, no call. And the basket. He's really got himself in great condition. He spent this summer working very, very hard with Rick Adelman, the assistant coach for the Portland Trail Blazers. Lost 20 pounds, got his body fat down from 21% to 15%. Game six coming to the surface. Drexler in the lane. Hale for Caldwell Jones. Here comes Portland to Kersey for the game. To Ainge for three. This is badly, but Bird with a rebound. Thanks already playing with a sore nose. They think it's broken, but they're not sure. Duckworth with the hook. It seems like yesterday. Away call. But watch now as Clyde Drexler dishes off to Jerome Kersey, who uses that great athletic ability to go up and dunk in from inner position. Inbound to Johnson. They like to get it right back to Bird for the shot. He played at Houston last year, was waived by Golden State this year. So I appreciate the clarification. There's Larry Bird with the left hand. Yeah. Kiki Vandewey from the long distance. Down and he's shooting it so well with no practice time. Gilmore with a big rebound and the left hand put back. There's a couple of big fellas working at it right here. There's Artis pushing off. Ducker face contact and Artis gave the little thing, little body. Gilmore moves in and jams it. The Bulls on Christmas Eve. Duckworth with the left hand. Played together as a unit very much, and you can tell by the erratic passing. That is Johnson puts his own in this shot. In order for us to reach the level of the Los Angeles Lakers, we have to get a true dominant center. And I speak more defensively than offensively. I think uh, in, in Jabbar and in the Boston Celtics case, Atlanta, uh, in your better teams, you've got to have a center that can defend for you and be a shot blocker. We just uh, don't have that. Caldwell Jones is our best shot blocker, and uh, he's not in that same category. But uh, I, I think if we could ever come up with a center, if we can get Sam Bowie back. We've counted on Sam. Sam's been dealt the most unfortunate thing in life, but not to be able to play the last two years. Uh, that's really a tragedy, and I, I hope that we can get him back sometime in the near future because he could give us that defensive play, and he's also a good offensive player. But I think that's what we really need is that true center because I think we have uh, very good players at the other positions. Why oh, you? Kevin McKinney changes. Real nice fake. And away against Bird. And away. Down to two. Drexler. Five. Three. Ainge with the runner off the glass. Just beating the buzzer. Six to go in the quarter. Porter's going to get a shot up. Gotten some great plays out of a very pleasant surprise for them so far this season. Filling in for the inch of Steve Johnson. And coming along is Kevin Duckworth. Double zero with the nice little swinging jump hook shot. He has 12 points. And he just
deserves a definite duck call. <laughs> Let's call it a duck hook. He has a, imagine when he travels, they call it a duck walk. Wexler. Porter, nice feed to Kersey. Get early in this ballgame. Beautiful pass. Duckworth being defensed by McHale. This is the left hand. Successfully. 16 lead changes in this game. For three. Swish from long range. Drexler has not hit a shot in this half. He's struggling offensively. Point lead now. Quarter from 16. He's not shooting well. He's probably He trips down the floor. That's something they need to do more of. Bird with a feed to Akers. Two-man game with Duckworth and Vandaway. Left hand. I like the left hand of Kevin Duckworth. He's made three of them. Okay, let's see. Indeed, if there is position, Larry comes, dips the shoulder, and Duckworth has the good position. That's where the charge was because Duckworth had established himself very firmly in the middle of the lane. This Johnson, he's guarding Terry Porter now. Porter blows by him. Nice dish to Duckworth, who's fouled in the drive. Akers, keying the break. Does he run the floor well? The burn. Lead by two. Porter. Bad pass to Vandaway. You can see him struggle. He couldn't reach back because of his back. Minifield gets the rebound. Surprisingly, Boston picking up the tempo himself. And Bird and Boston are back. Minifield. So. Point Celtics lead with 11 minutes, 11 seconds. McHale sees it open. They've won here a lot. Porter. 91-88 Boston. This period, none of the Boston starters has more than three, but three other Boston players have a lot of fouls. Bird gets the rebound. He has 11 in this ball game to go with his 30 points. And to Gilmore. Now watch how he keeps his body in front of him. He sees the play is developing. He sees where Duckworth is. Now he gets position. Uses his strength in his body to hold Duckworth off. So he's got perfect position inside the lane. His teammates spot him. They get the ball to him. Duckworth overcommits. Is out of position. And Artis takes it up strong to the basket for another two points. His body. Eight points on the night. Vandaway for long distance. We'll Again, see. the position that Artis got. And he's got ten. He on his back. Dennis Johnson and Age. Can't take the first shot that's available unless it's something real close into the basket of your port. Duckworth, I think, got a little push there against the hoop. 26. Today he scored 18 between them out of the center position. Point away from the 10,000 career mark. But Portland's defense is sorely lacking here. You have it. Poised, and right there you would snap it as Dennis Johnson makes the steal against Paxson. Takes it down the floor. Drops it off to Danny Ainge. And the Boston Celtics go up to their biggest lead of the ball game. 105-94 Celtic Boston, but not tonight. McHale has eight rebounds. Vandaway tipped it back in. A player in that range with his skills. Here, here. Six tenths a big, big gun. Duckworth on the feet. Bird decided to take the bullet out of the chamber. Seven on the shot clock into McHale. Our producer Kim Belton saying though had pro experience as Lewis switching from forward to guard from Northeastern. Duckworth. 32 points in the game for Duckworth and a losing cause. The Celtics blew it open the last six or seven minutes of this fourth quarter to win by 20. Well, he had another outstanding game, but I think one of the big keys is the fact that artist Gilmore and Akers played so well to make up for the absence of Robert Parrott.